Strangers work together to save the life of a young man whose truck flipped, trapping him late Friday night. He had crashed just minutes before on Taylorsville Road, not far from the Spencer Jefferson County line. He was out of the back passenger back window on a four door truck, so his body was hanging out, but then his head was underneath the back you know, part of the cab. Jason Crawford, who works for lg &E, was on his way to work when he stopped to help. There was another lg &E guy, David Pauley, who was also heading in. Something told me that I needed to stop to help. A nurse stopped too. So did J.D. Fleming, a Spencer County medic. He took the lead to get the driver out. They were a gift of God to me because there's no way I could have lifted that truck. That was the plan. With the clock ticking and the driver's breathing failing, Fleming counted to three and that group of strangers lifted the truck. I just remember giving it everything I had to get it moved so he could uh, try to get him out. It was just high enough and long enough that the man could be pulled to safety. His head was just covered in blood. And then J.D. reached down and checks his pulse, and he said, I got a pulse. And incredibly, just moments after being pulled out from underneath that wreckage, that man began talking. Because of where he had crashed and recent rainfall, the ground was actually slick. It was muddy, and it acted as a cushion for his skull. That boy had a lot of luck on the side of the night. <laughs> a lot. Because if not for that muddy ground, J.D. Fleming believes the driver would have been killed. And if not for a group of strangers who stopped to help, he may not have survived. <laughs> He's doing good. He's sore. He's got a lot of cuts and lacerations, puncture wounds, broken bones, but he's good. In Spencer County, Lauren Adams, WLKY News.